We have arrived in Stockholm. We had a really early start this morning. We got woken up at 3 a.m. to get our flight, which I think was about half six. So I think it's about midday now. We've arrived at our hotel. Luckily, we got an early check-in for one of our rooms in our hotel. So we've come to our room to freshen up before heading out into Stockholm. Today, obviously, we've only got half a day left now, but we're just gonna stay out the whole rest of the day until after dinner time. And then tomorrow when we wake up, we've got more of like an organized, structured day. But the plan for the rest of the day now is we're gonna go to the old town and we're also going to visit a place called Gamla Stan, which is where the royal palaces are. All these places, which I'm not too sure how to pronounce, I'm going to put on screen in case you guys are visiting Stockholm and also Copenhagen because we are going there after this, which is going to be in a separate vlog. So this is part one of our Scandinavia trip. So yeah, we're just going to have a bit of a wander around, find our bearings, explore a bit. But yeah, I think we're just going to finish up getting ready now and yeah, head out. But yeah, I'm really excited for this trip. So we've got two days here, we've got a travel day in between, so like half a day in each on the third day and then two days in Copenhagen. This is what I'm wearing. I've got this navy t-shirt on and then these striped trousers. come to the old town now we went to the coffee shop as you would have seen and then my mum and Jonah decided to go to the royal palace and actually go inside whereas me and my dad decided to go and look around all the other architecture We've come to a restaurant for dinner now. Still in the same like main square of Stockholm. We've come to a restaurant called Sally's and it's like an Italian restaurant. The seating arrangement's really cool. We're like raised up on the side of the street and it's like a booth. But yeah, we're gonna have dinner here. So it's now the next morning. Yesterday after dinner we just came back to the hotel and had an earlyish night because obviously we got up so early that morning. So yeah, it's now a new day, it's about nine o'clock. I'm really excited for today because today we're going to the Abbott Museum. So I've been really looking forward to this. We've had it planned for a while. So yeah, that is the main point of today. It's about a 40 minute walk from where we are. So to break it up, we're gonna go for breakfast in between. So we're gonna walk 20 minutes this morning, go for breakfast, we found a nice spot, and then walk the other 20 minutes to the museum. So yeah, it should be really fun. We're going to another part of Stockholm today. So we'll be exploring a different part. The old town was so nice yesterday. I feel like this is going to be a bit different because the old town is very historic and really pretty and the architecture is amazing but the rest of Stockholm is like any other city really like built up. Those are like shops and cafes and things like that. So yeah we'll see what this area is like. I'm very excited to go to the gift shop at the Abbey Museum as well and yeah it should be a good day. We're also going to go to do a few shops that I've wanted to go to whilst being here on the way back to our hotel later so I'll show you those as well because yeah it's our last full day here in Sweden but yeah very excited we're going to get going now. Today I'm wearing this dress and then I've also got my crochet bag we're now walking to the Abbey Museum. We've got about a half an hour walk. You would have seen we went to somewhere for breakfast. I'll put the name on screen. It was really nice. It was more of like a proper sit down breakfast than just like grabbing something and going. It was quite posh. So yeah, we're just walking through the city now to get there. We're in the very posh bit. There's a Ralph Lauren. It feels like Bond course. Street in London. It's basically where all the designer shops is. But yeah, the breakfast spot was really nice. Very like, you could take lots of photos. The, the interior aesthetic. was very nice. The aesthetic was very nice. The first bit was quite modern with like chandeliers, very white and bright. And you walked behind and it was kind of like an old-fashioned English tea room. Yeah. Like a really kind of something from the 1920s or something. It was very unusual, very nice.
we're ready to go out now. Not entirely sure where we're gonna go yet. I think we're gonna head for the old town and try to find a restaurant there. But yeah, we're all very hungry. It's about six o'clock now. It's our last evening here in Stockholm before we go to Copenhagen tomorrow. We've got a pretty early train to get to Denmark. So I think we're gonna try and get back here a bit early. But yeah, I'm excited to go out. Now the end of the day we're back from dinner i thought i'd just do a bit of talking because i didn't really do much talking when we were out today i was a bit bad at actually speaking to the camera but i still thought i'd give my opinions and share my thoughts and everything that we did today so obviously the main thing of today we went to the ava museum i really enjoyed it you'll see from the clips there were so many like interactive elements which were really fun so yeah they really made it interactive with like the songs and there was loads of video clips so as well as having all the factual stuff about their lives and how they started the band and everything like that there's also some really fun elements like they had a silent disco which is really really cool. They had this sound booth thing where you could pretend you were in a recording studio. I also love seeing all the costumes. They had like these glass cabinets where you could actually see real life costumes and I think they were authentic as well. Some definitely were, I don't know if all of them were. There was also towards the end like some Mamma Mia inspired like set design and things like that which is really cool. But yeah it was really fun. I also went to the gift shop at the end and as I think I mentioned already I'm going to do a haul of everything I got in Stockholm at the end of this video when I'm back home and I'll do the same for my Copenhagen vlog. But yeah that was the other museum. After that we went for some lunch and then my brother and dad went to another museum which is about five minutes away it was called the Viking Museum I wasn't that bothered about going to that one we saved the money on tickets and me and my mum just stayed outside we sat by the harbour we had some ice cream and yeah it was really nice to just chill out for a bit the walk to the other museum was really nice it was all along like the river so it was very nice and pretty the whole way which was nice but yeah we got the tram back to more like central Stockholm and me and my mum went to this shop I've been wanting to go to it's a really pretty shop I think they've actually bought it to London now but I'm pretty certain it started in Scandinavia so I wanted to come to one while we were here we got some really lovely bits so again that'll be in the hall but yeah that was pretty much the day up until dinner where i already told you guys about so yeah that's been our days in stockholm really enjoyed it it really like exceeded my expectations we've all really enjoyed our time here but yeah we are leaving tomorrow we've got our train at about nine o'clock so the plan for now is just to get sorted get a bit of an early night also just to mention for our dinner we didn't actually end up going to the old town but we went to these gardens and on the outside is where our restaurant was but yeah i just wanted to give a rundown of the day we've done about fifteen thousand steps each day so feeling pretty tired but excited to go to Denmark tomorrow so yeah I will see you guys in the morning I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I've got whilst in Stockholm. So yeah, I picked up some really nice pieces as well as like physical items I bought. I also bought and collected a load of like mementos and memory box things. So like receipts, postcards, stickers, everything like that. So I'll also show you guys a few of that stuff as well. This is just gonna be the stuff I bought in Stockholm. And then in my other vlog, the Copenhagen one, I'll show you guys the stuff I bought there in that video, if that makes sense. Okay, we're gonna start with Sostjen Gren. I think that's how you say it. I'm really sorry if it's not. This shop is a chain, so it was in Stockholm and Copenhagen. But a tip if you're going to do the same trip as us the exchange rate in sweden is a lot better than in denmark even though it's the same shop it would have been much more expensive if we got the stuff in denmark so yeah just remember that if you're going to go to the two places copenhagen was much more expensive so yeah firstly we just got this tote bag it was to carry all our stuff but it's actually a really nice tote bag it just looks like this it's got their brand logo on and yeah i use these all the time so they're always handy i then got these sweets i just saw these at the checkout and they look really nice they remind me a bit of the ones you can get in tiger and to be honest the shop is kind of similar to tiger in the uk but it's a lot nicer. I then just got a new Tupperware container. Going into second year, you can't just pop back to your uni accommodation as easily to like make your lunch or something like that. So I'm gonna have to bring packed lunches. So I think I'm gonna have to start meal prepping and properly make a packed lunch. So I thought I'd get a nice new one. Then I got some of these hair clips. I've been wanting these for a while for like half up, half down kind of style. So last thing from this shop, I got this little pouch or like coin purse thing. These little bags are always useful to go inside your bag. I really like the pattern of this, but they had loads of different designs. So yeah, I'm very happy with everything I got from 
from there. So then moving on to the ABBA museum. At the end of the museum they had a gift shop and I always knew I was going to buy something from the museum. It actually was nowhere near as expensive as I thought it was going to be though. But yeah, here's the bag the stuff came in. As I said, I've kept everything like the packaging, the bags and stuff. As I think later on this summer I'm going to order some photos and put them all into my summer scrapbook along with like the flyers and the stickers and stuff I've collected. So the main thing I bought is this ABBA souvenir book. This is what the front looks like and then this is the back. It's just full of photos and like writing. Obviously photos from the museum and the exhibition as well. And yeah, I really like the look of this. I'm excited to read it. If you saw one I was building my bookshelf, I showed that I have a Taylor Swift one and I also have a Harry Styles similar kind of book to what this is. I wanted this book to kind of go with my other music books. So yeah, that was the main thing I bought. Next thing I got was this keychain. I've been looking for a few other keychains for my keys as at the moment I've only got one keychain on there. It just feels a bit empty. So yeah, I really like this. This is a bit of a closer look. And then you'll see I picked up postcards from both Stockholm and Copenhagen. So I also wanted to get one from the ABBA Museum. They had loads of different options. So this is the one I chose. Along with that, I also got this sticker, again, to go on my scrapbook. This is what it looks like. It's one of the costumes that they wear on stage. Finally, from Stockholm, I picked up another postcard. So yeah, I thought this one was really nice. So yeah, that's everything I got in Sweden. Thank you so much for watching this holiday vlog. I really enjoyed filming it. Make sure to come back for part two, which is Copenhagen. I'm really excited for you to see it. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.